Hello everyone, welcome to this fun piglet channel. Huh? I mean, finance channel. Yeah. Finance channel happen to have a piglet in it. Channel. <laughs> Anyways, today is July the eighth. So about three days ago, July the fifth, I made a video my one thousand subscriber YouTube journey. I received a lot of comments, and then a lot of people from different parts of the world they don't understand English or not uh, understand English well. In today's video, I will share with you. Actually, there are a few ways to help your users to understand your video a lot better. One is through the settings. The other is through managing your closed captions. For those of you who doesn't know this portion of your screen, you probably don't have TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is a very good analytical software you can install into your YouTube channel. It will give you the SEO score. Um, and also tells you how many times this video, particular video, has ranked number one or on the first of the search page, and then it will tell you the summary of the likes and comments and then all that. And then also, it reminds me I don't have closed the caption edit. Oh my god! So I need to edit it today. I receive those comments. They ask me if there's any. Way I can help them with the language, so I just realized there are two million YouTube users in this world. They are about seventy nine percent. They have their own YouTube accounts, but they don't use English, right? They can share different languages. So I give you a trivia question right now. See if you can answer that. Do you know how many countries are there in this world right now, and how many spoken languages are using in this world? You can write down your answers in numbers in your comment section below. All right, you will find the answer throughout my video somewhere, and I will let you know the answer. Let's get started. First thing I can share with you as a YouTube user, when you watch somebody's video on your desktop or tablet, you can use. This setting to help you out. This setting shows the playback speed. Right now is set at a normal. All right, you can go slow down, or someone in a rush, you can go speed up. So I'm gonna show you how the speed change may help you to understand somebody's language better. So the journey on YouTube. This is normal speed. All right, you can slow down. This is already slow down and more slow down. So this is zero point two five, the slowest. She sounds really tired. Very very slow, right? That's probably a little too slow. So then, if you have something rushed to do, you can speed up. This is faster, more fast. Then you tell yourself, "Well, I started at a zero. At least I'm not zero now. And I'm, not zero, but <laughs> I'm not zero now. I'm at a two now. This is more fast. All right. So this happened. What? Yes. No. This seriously must be a mistake. It could have happened to me. No. Cannot. So you can adjust the speed to help you out. All right. So this is one way to do. Second thing you can do. As a YouTube content creator, you can click on Edit Video, and then you click on Subtitles, and then you can look at the statistics. In my channel, ninety-nine point seven percent of people who watched this video is speaking English. So all you need to do is edit your. Close the captioning to help people to visualize the spoken language. Or for some people who is hearing impaired, or somebody who is watching the video in a environment that doesn't allow any audio, and then doesn't. Have a headphone with him or her, so at that time you probably can read the subtitle to help you out. So all you need to do is just go to the published. Click on these three dots; it's actually showing the options. 
when you click on it, it has edit on classic studio. You click on that and it will show you this screen and then you click on edit. And then this left side are all the spoken language on this video, but it's automatically generated by YouTube. It could be right. It could be very funny. So I can already see yourself, Diana. I never said a Diana in this. So you can do it word by word, editing it. So you can click on play. The journey on YouTube is not as glamorous as you thought it would be. As you fact, thought it would be. All right. So you is not as glamorous as you thought it would be, not we. So you thought it's already a mistake. Tell yourself, hang in there. At least three times, four times. Three times, one, two, three, four times. And then, then you tell yourself, well, I started it. See, it's wrong. It's not Diana. It's then. Then you tell yourself, well, I started at zero, not at a zero, at a zero. So. At a zero. At least I'm not zero now. The number is crawling, but it's still crawling. Crawling is not spelled like this. Crawling is spelling as C R A W L I N G, but it's still <laughs> crying. <laughs> not crying, crawling. A W L I N G. From 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30. So you get a gist of it. You just go one by one, listen to every sentence you say, right? And then change what is apparently not correct. It takes time, but it really will help someone who really depend on your closed captioning. I hope you will get that, all right? I just misspelled this, hang in there, right there. So I will continue to edit and show you the end results. So after you edit and change everything, you make sure it's all correct. And then you watch again, play and confirm it is all good. And then you click publish edits and then you're done. Then you see the huge difference is this is CC. CC doesn't mean copyrights or anything. It's closed caption. All right. So when people your user watch a video. If they wanted to see the subtitle, they can click on it. And then when they play, the it will show the that the one that you just edited. It would be. In fact, so most how nice. Content creators are like this at times. Oh, All right, so instead of just listen to English, the they can also read English. It will help a lot then to a lot of people. All right, so you double check before you leave this video alone. Make sure everything is correct. Make sure everything looks all right as well. Then you tell yourself, well, I started and that's at a zero. It. Now is the time to answer the two trivia questions. First answer, 195 countries. Second answer, 6,500 spoken languages in this world. I hope you get both answer right. And I hope you will do this to help your users to watch your video more smoothly because there are about 6,499 languages other than the English you use and speak. So help people out and you will feel happy. Excuse me, pardon me, my lover, my toe. I like the way the fragrance brings out her perfume. As for my coffee, no need for sugar The word is sweet enough when she is in the room